Our next formula will be the ordinary annuity formula. We have four main characteristics of an ordinary annuity. Firstly, we have equivalent cash flows, which means the same number. Secondly, we receive or pay this cash flow at the end of each period, such as at the end of every year. Thirdly, we receive or pay this cash flow at equal intervals, such as every year. Lastly, we receive or pay this cash flow for a certain period of time, such as three years. We have a present value of the ordinary annuity and future value of the ordinary annuity. Let's look at an example of the future value of an ordinary annuity. Let's say that you will receive a cash flow of $100 per year for the next three years. The effective annual interest rate is 10%. Let's calculate the future value at the end of year three. First, let's draw a timeline. So we have three years. We have $100 in year one, we have $100 in year two, and $100 in year three. In this example, we have the following variables. We have a cash flow of $100, the interest rate of 10% per annum, the number of periods is three years, and the future value is the unknown variable. Please note that in all time value of money questions, interest rate and the number of periods must have the same time unit. This means if the interest rate is annual, we should express the number of periods in years. The future value formula is cash flow multiplied by, open the first bracket, open the second bracket, one plus the interest rate, close the second bracket, to the power of the number of periods, minus one. Close the first bracket, all divided by the interest rate. Therefore, our future value at the end of three years will be $100 multiplied by, open the first bracket, open the second bracket, one plus 10%, close the second bracket, to the power of 3, minus 1, close first bracket, and then all of them divided by 10%, which is equal to $331. Please note that the future value of the ordinary annuity is always at the last cash flow. For example, if my last equivalent cash flow is in 3 years, the future value will be in year 3. Or if my last equivalent cash flow is in year 10, the future value will be in year 10. Lastly, if my last equivalent cash flow is in year 2025, the future value will be at year 2025. Next, let's look at an example of the present value of the ordinary annuity. Let's say you will receive a cash flow of $100 per year for the next three years. The effective annual interest rate is 10%. Now, let's calculate the present value at the end of year three. First, let's draw a timeline. We have three years. We have $100 in year one, we have $100 in year two, and we have $100 in year three. In this example, we have the following variables. Cash flow of $100, the interest rate of 10% per annum, the number of periods is three years, and the present value is the unknown variable. Please note that in all time value of money questions, interest rate and the number of periods must have the same time unit. This means if the interest rate is annual, we should express the number of periods in years. The present value formula is the cash flow multiplied by, open first bracket, one minus, open the second bracket, one plus the interest rate, close the second bracket, to the power of a negative number of periods, close the first bracket, and then all of them divided by the interest rate. Therefore, our present value today at time zero is 100 multiplied by, open the first bracket, one minus, open the second bracket, one plus 10%, close the second bracket, to the power of negative three, close the first bracket, all of them divided by 10%, which is equal to $248.69. Please note that the present value of the ordinary annuity formula is always one period before my first cash flow. For example, if my first equivalent cash flow is in year one, the present value will be at year zero. Or if my first equivalent cash flow is in year five, the present value will be in year four. Or lastly, if my first equivalent cash flow is in year 2020, the present value will be at year 2019. Next, this is the present value formula. 
In this formula, we have four variables. The present value, the equivalent cash flow, interest rate, and the number of periods. With P present value represented by PV, equivalent cash flow represented by C, the interest rate represented by I, and the number of periods represented by N. Consequently, we can arrange this formula to get the equivalent cash flow or a number of periods. Let's arrange the present value of the ordinary annuity formula to get the equivalent cash flow, C. The equivalent cash flow is equal to the present value times the interest rate divided by, open the first bracket, 1 minus, open the second bracket, 1 plus the interest rate, close the second bracket, to the power of a negative number of periods, close the first bracket. Then, let's arrange the present value of the ordinary annuity formula to get a number of periods, n. The number of periods is equal to n, open bracket, 1 minus the present value, times the interest rate, divided by the equivalent cash flows, close bracket, all divided by the negative sign, n, open bracket, 1 plus the interest rate, close bracket. 